Welcome to your weekly gem. I'm Dr. Jan Taplin with Chrysalis Chiropractic. It is Get Smart About Antibiotics Week, so that is the topic for today. I'd like to share the big picture of how antibiotics work. And in order to do that, I'd like you to just imagine with me either a situation in your life or imagine that you're working on a project and you're struggling maybe a little, but you're getting the job done. And then someone comes in, pushes you aside, and says, I'll take over. You're, you're, you're taking too much time. You're not doing this the right way. I think it should have been done by now. Moves you aside and says, I'm taking over now. Well, when your immune system is working to fight off a bacterial infection, and I talk about bacterial infections because uh, viral infections don't respond to antibiotics. So your body is trying to work on this project of getting rid of this bacterial infection and the antibiotics get put into the body now. So the body says, oh, or the immune system within the body says, oh, well, okay, I don't need to work on this anymore. Someone else or something else is doing it for me. Well, the body was designed to heal itself. So what happens is that there are certain things that will make the immune system a little bit weaker so that it might take a little bit more time for the body to do what it needs to do to get rid of this invader. So what are they? Well, mind, body, and spirit mental, chemical, and physical. So you need to have a healthy mind. You need to have a healthy body. You need to have a healthy spirit in order for your immune system to be functioning at 100%. Having the body healthy means that you're giving it proper nutrients, that you're getting proper rest, that you're getting exercise, and that your nervous system is functioning at 100%. The chemical piece comes in is that your body chemistry changes based on the things that you say or the things that you focus on or the feelings that you have. So they create different chemicals in your body. So if you're all stressed out, your body's producing stress chemicals which decrease your immune system. If you're feeling great and happy, your immune system is boosted because you're releasing happy chemicals in your body. So this, and the spirit is just that inner wisdom, that, that ability to know that your body's doing what it needs to do and to sit back and, and allow that to happen. That's how I look at the spirit. So if you're faced with making the decision to get antibiotics for an infection, step back and think about whether it would be a good idea to let the body try to do this on its own for a while. Because what happens if we are too eager to get an antibiotic, we end up with things like MRSA, which is a methicillin-resistant staph aureus. So this bacteria is not responding anymore to the antibiotics because it has become so strong that it now resists what the antibiotics can do. And because the body didn't have to deal with it, the body's saying, well, hey, I didn't have anything to do with this, so, you know, something else is going to have to figure this out now because I'm, I'm done. I, I can't. I have no idea how to deal with that because the antibiotics were doing it for me. So having faith that your body has the ability to heal itself, trusting that it can do this, and not stepping in right away and putting an antibiotic in there, perhaps your body will be able to heal itself, not only now, but in the future, as you get exposed to different viruses, your body gets stronger because it has met with these things and overcome them. Similar to in your own life, when you overcome something, it makes you stronger. I hope this has helped you take a look at antibiotics. This is Dr. Jan with Chrysalis Chiropractic and your weekly gem.